What's it up, baby? Y'all know it is the big boss. How boss dog can't poke through the door, hit a talk this box. What's good with y'all boys? So, um, we we breaking down. We making videos off this Brian Custer interview, man. I'm post link in the description. So Brian Custer, which does a phenomenal job interviewing people, man. I, I gotta give Buddy his credit, man. The dude cold. You know what I'm saying? Like, really a spiel. Um, so he asked Terrence Crawford. He said, "Hey." Do you see this fight with Errol Spence happening in 2023? And Terrence Crawford's response was, I hope so. That's not a response I want to hear from a pound-for-pound -pound fighter. I hope so. You know, he's saying, oh, I, I, you know, I hope the fight happens. Now, I think he realized what he said, and then he responded with, um, you know, I want the fight. I really do. But if it don't happen, if we don't never fight, it's okay. It's been many fights in history that hasn't happened, you know, and I'm not gonna wait on no man, you know, to feed my family. First of all, he, you, they was waiting on you, bud. They waiting on bud. I don't understand, you know, why in his mind, in which he know, he know what he doing. He know that, he knows that he was the one who held up this negotiation. He knows that the contract is with him. He knows that this decision was a bad decision because he's been doing damage control. He's been coming out here and, 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 and you know, defending everything as far as his decision. You get what I mean? He's been coming for YouTubers and people in the comment section and all that stuff. So he know, he knows what his decision was the wrong decision. Because if you felt like you made the right decision, you wouldn't even be responding to nobody. You wouldn't even care. I wouldn't even give a flip. I'd be like, man. You know? They ask me a question about you know, um, I'm fighting David Avenesia. Next question. That's it. He not even talking about David Avenesia. He ain't even saying nothing about David Avenesia. Right? Next thing he said. Terrence Crawford went on to say, you know, there's been many PBC fighters that, you know, made uh, deals with my former promotional company. He said, Gary Russell Jr. fought Loma Chinko. Gary Russell's a PBC fighter, and he fought Loma Chinko, who's a top ranked fighter. Okay, so Loma Chinko wasn't a top fighter back then when they fought. Okay, he was an up and coming fighter. Right? Gary Russell Jr. wasn't a top fighter. You know what I mean? At that time. Both of them were prospect. I would say prospect on the rise fighters. So, yes, it's going to be easier to make those fights. You're not going to take your best fighter. You know what I mean? Somebody you got a lot of money invested in, right? You know? It's harder to make those fights with the top fighters than it is with the low level guys. Why? Because you got to look at sales, which it shouldn't be like this, right? It shouldn't be like this, but that's just the nature of the business. We're going to keep it a stack, right? That's the nature of the business. You have your top fighter that you got a lot of money invested in, which PVC has no problem sending their fighters anywhere. It's the other companies that have an issue with PVC. You know what I mean? They don't want to, you know, PBC like, okay, look, we'll fight, but, you know, we'll send them over there. But understand, our fighter's the A-side because he's done these amount of numbers, these amount of numbers. And the other companies, nah, nah, man, nah. Our fighter's the A-side. You see what I'm saying? That's where they went into issues. But when you got two up and coming fights, they don't care. They'll send them over there quick. They got a fighter that's up and coming and they don't know what he gonna be yet. Like he got promise, but he ain't, yeah, they gonna send him over there. But, you know what I'm saying? It's a, I would say this, it's a decent point, but it doesn't solidify everything. He he also said Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder fought. Tyson Fury, <laughs> and this was a nice try. Tyson Fury was not signed to top rank when he fought Deontay Wilder the first time. They already had fought. Okay? They already had fought before that. 
Y'all remember, when they was finna fight the second time, they was negotiating, and then Tyson Fury went ghost, kinda like what Bud Crawford did. Went ghost, and then signed with top rank, and then fought uh, on top rank, and, and signed, I think it was uh, Otto Wiley or something like that. He signed with top rank. I think he, he had like two fights, and then he fought Wilder for the second time. So I don't want to hear that stuff, but, 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 but be, and, and, and let me tell you something, but be reading them comments, because Bud ain't never mentioned that before, the, the, the fans mentioned that, so Bud be in the comment section, he be seeing that, he's like, oh, that's a great point, I'm going to use that, you can't use that, you can't use that analogy, because Wilder and Fury already had history, they already fought, Tyson Fury was assigned to top rank when they fought the first time. So it's an excuse. And what the hell, and this is what I'm saying, what the hell does that have to do with you fighting Errol? Okay? You so-called was a boss when you was on top rank. Now you're saying you a boss. You should have forced them niggas to be like, hey, we need to fight. See, he's trying to put it on PBC indirectly and say, oh, it's PBC, it's PBC. It ain't got nothing to do with no damn PBC. Your former promoter even came out and said, I will not work with PVC. Bob M just recently said that. He said that multiple times. Multiple. Why? Because PVC fighters get paid more than top rank fighters. And Bob M feels like these fighters shouldn't be making all this money. He's even said that before. He's even said that. Bob Brown also was saying Oh, they making all this money. This is why PBC is going to crash because they paying their fighters too much. The business model is not going to work. What's happening? PBC is still going. Now, the zone, they was giving fighters money and not getting their return on it. See, PBC figured out the business model. Hey, bro, we're going to pay this money, but you're going to have to fight this other top fighter that we got. And that's what they do. Bud ain't fought no top fighters nowhere, nowhere. I get look if Top Rank had all the top welterweights, Bud wouldn't have fought him. I'm telling you this right now. Bud would have maneuvered out that weight class, went to another weight class when there ain't a lot of killers there where he can kind of, you know what I mean? It was careful matchmaking at Top Rank. Bud never wanted these fights. He never asked for them. He didn't want them. He was content with them giving him those fights. Because if he really wanted to fight the top fights, he could have been like, man, I'm not fighting another fight until y'all put me in there with somebody real. He didn't do that. He just fought. I'm not trying to hear that stuff, man. I'm not trying to hear no excuses. I, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't believe in it. For starters, he all over the place, right? One interview, uh, I don't want to fight. Uh, that fight is behind me. Um, I don't, I don't care to fight Earl Spence. This interview, I mean, I hope so. I hope to fight him, but you know, I want to fight him. I do, but you know, I'm okay with you know us not fighting. There's been many fights that didn't happen in history. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna happen. That's not, that's not what it is, bro. That's not, that's not what. It is, especially when you in negotiations. That's not that's not what I want to hear. You are pound for pound. And people some people list, not mine. You are on you are a pound for pound fighter, right? That's not the energy I need to hear from you. Your little protege, your little protege should cool won't want one smoke with anybody. You know what I'm saying? At least he talking that talk. He like shit, man. I send that contract. What's good? Bud ain't doing that. Bud, I mean, I hope so. I don't know. I mean, I hope so. What are you talking about, bro? These are the things that I'm... This is the things I'm talking about. You sat here and cap and said, oh, you know, L didn't want to fight. Then you say L want to fight. Then you say L don't want to fight. Then you say, oh, it was PBC, Al Heyman, they didn't want to fight. Then you say Al Heyman and L Spence is gay. Then you say, oh, I like Al Heyman. Then you say, oh, you know what? 
uh, Elspeth is a good dude. I believe he wanted to fight. I just believe that the people in the suits didn't want to fight. They wanted him to fight Keith Thurman. Then you say, oh, you know what? I don't want to fight. Then you say, I don't know if I want to fight, but I do want to fight, but I'm content uh, if the fight don't ever happen. You see how there's a problem? You see that? Elspeth ain't saying nothing. Elspeth ain't saying a thing. All he came out and said was, I was blindsided by this. I thought I was going to get the uh, Crawford fight. I really wanted that fight. That's the only fight I wanted. And it, it, it blindsided us. All of us. Because if it was PBC fault, they would have had another fight lined up for Earl immediately. Earl don't even know who he fighting. It may be Keith Thurman. You know what I mean? He don't know. He may fight Boots. He don't know. I mean, I'm hearing Stanley Owners might fight Virgil Ortiz. But we don't know. We definitely don't know who he fighting. He don't know who he fighting. He's still trying to figure that out. He's like, damn, bro, like, who am I getting there with? So I keep saying, bro, like, this stuff right here, bro, is, is, is foolishness, bro. I don't respect Bud Crawford. He just come out and say, look, it's my fault why the fight didn't happen. You know, I wanted to get another fight in, you know, but I want to fight L. You know, we, we can make the fight happen in 2023. You know, let's get it. Let's be great. I respect him better if he say that. He don't even got to apologize. Just, just be like, bro, look, it was my fault the fight didn't happen because I wanted, uh, I wanted to get a fight in. That's all you got to say. And it's cool. I, it's cool by me, for me. I'm saying for me. You know, everybody else, you know, maybe different. You know what I'm saying? Just admit, bro, like, hey, it was my fault why the fight didn't happen. Stand on it. Keep it moving. But he not going to do that. He going to sit there and, oh, it's PBC, PBC. You know, they didn't want the fight and blah, blah, blah. I just want to be treated fairly. Nigga, you is being treated fairly. They looking at your numbers, nigga. You trying to look at your accomplishments, and this what kills me. I'm gonna drop another video. This what kills me. Your past don't matter. Your past don't matter. Watch this, boss gone.